Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be a quick video to teach you all the basics of what you need to know for using the BGA or the biogas plant in Farming Simulator 19. This is what you're looking for. Please stay tuned. All right, folks, as mentioned, we're going to go into all the just the basics of how to use and what it's for uh, the BGA or the biogas plant in Farming Simulator 19. Again, it's called either the biogas plant or the BGA, um, and it's kind of a type of cell point and production facility, if you will. Uh, so we're on Ravenport here. If we go into the map here, um, here's where the, the BGA is. So it's usually marked on the map by a biogas plant indicator right there. Now, the one first thing you have to note here is like most sell points, so if I wanted to sell something at the spinnery, the restaurant, or anywhere else that's a sell point, I just go up to it and sell. But the BGA is a little bit different. You actually have to purchase the land the BGA is on. So um, this is 769,000, which is a little bit pricey, but um, the BGA prices will vary. And some maps even have the BGAs listed as for free. But you have to purchase it before you can use it or you have to own it. Um, the other way around that is if you uh, have a mod installed, that's a placeable BGA, you can place your own BGA. And again, all the trigger points we're gonna talk about are specific to this BGA, but the same concept and the same types of trigger points will be usually pretty easy to locate on any other BGA. Um, so if we go into here, you'll notice there's no biogas plant cell point in here to tell us what we're gonna get for it. But now if we go back into the menu here and we buy it, cause we're gonna buy it to use it, and we go into here, now you're going to see a biogas plant indicator popped up. So let's go across here to see what they're going to take. So this is the very basic of biogas plants right here. So this is going to take silage, it's going to take grass, and it's going to take hay. It's also going to take manure and slurry. So uh, some biogas plants will take straw as well, and some will take sugar beets, and some will take potatoes as well. Um, now this price here is fixed. So whereas other sell points will have varied prices, the BGA will never go up or down. It will always be set at that price. Uh, typically speaking, it's usually a better price uh, for grass and hay. And you, you can see in this case, it's not actually a better price for manure or slurry. It's the only place you have to sell that. So it's not a bad price for that. And then for silage, it is a fair amount better price there. So um, I've seen some of them set at 280, some set at 360. This is pretty common here. Uh, some are set at 520, some 720, some 1280. I mean, they can do any price or whatever price they want to do as far as the map maker is concerned. But again, some of them will also take sugar beets and potatoes. Um, and there may be other ones that take other things as well. So just be aware of that. So um, now that we've purchased it, we can sell at it. So this is the BGA here. Now, most BGAs will have three major points to them. One, they'll have typically they'll have their own bunker silos. These are bunker silos here where you can produce silage. Um, which that's that's typical for BJ. Sometimes they don't have, have those though. I um, mean, a lot of the placeable ones that you can place yourself don't have those. So just be aware of that. Now, if you wanna know how to use bunker silos and how to produce silage or how to produce grass or hay, um, I have videos to teach you that stuff linked down below in the description. The description, I can't talk apparently, down below in the description. So feel free to check those out um, if you need help doing those things. But the other two components you're gonna find is one, a digester, which is usually gonna have a readout like that there and it's gonna have some sort of tank. Sometimes it has hazards, sometimes it doesn't. These are the hazards I'm talking about. And then the third icon or the third thing you're gonna have is a uh, digestate out point. So this here is the digestate out point um, for this one. They're not always well marked and sometimes these are a little tricky to find, but there's always one somewhere um, at the BGA. So the concept here, let's talk about a little bit how to use it, what the concept is. So most cell points, when you dump something into it, you get paid immediately. Uh, for the biogas plant, you don't get paid until midnight. So every midnight you get paid for whatever you put in that has finished processing. So there is, as this readout indicates here, there is a processing speed. This can only hold um, a certain amount of product before it needs to process first, which it does it by in-game time. So if you speed up in-game time, uh, for example, to five times, 15 times, or 30 times, or faster, it'll speed up the digester process. Um, so yeah, it just takes in-game time to process through it. Different BGAs have different processing rates and different capacities. This one, if I remember correctly, has a 50,000 liter capacity, but all you're gonna do is get up to it. You're gonna get an overloading icon like that. So if I overload, you can see that that screen is going up. Now I'll let it completely overload here. And actually let's do this. Uh, real quick as well, let's turn this off. And let's load this back up with, um, this time we'll do, we'll do hay this time, just cause it, you can put whatever you want in, 
just because it has silage already in it doesn't mean you can't put hay or another product into it as you can see this is going up as it's supposed to be digesting it down it is slowly going down and we'll see that after we get completely full here but first i want to demonstrate what it's going to be like if you completely fill up the bga so let's put another load of uh, it doesn't really matter just dry grass in there hay so this one, I believe the capacity is 50,000, so it should stop at 50. You can see 50, and now it's slowly digesting down. Now, it doesn't seem like it's going very fast, but if we speed up time at all, you can see it's now going down quite a bit faster now that we're at 60 times. So just remember, it's going to go down slower. Um, but yeah, if you have it full, it's not going to let you put any more in. So if I put more in here, it's going to do it when it stops. And now it's not letting me put any more. Now it'll let me put 20 in every time it gets rid of 20, but there's no more capacity there. So um, just be aware of that. Now some BGAs, um, let's turn this guy off so it doesn't annoy me there. Uh, some BGAs, you can't dump it directly in. You have to either use a bucket like this or use a conveyor belt. And if you wanna know how to use conveyor belts to make your life a little bit easier, I have a video on how to use those, um, which is linked down below in the description. So you can also do it this way. And again, it's filling that up. And now it's not let it's not you see it still says it's dumping but it's not taking any out until there's room in it but uh so some require you to do it that way or at least to get it up high enough to do that so you can either use a uh, wheel loader a telehandler a front loader like this one here or any tractor with a front loader attachment so you can do all those sorts of things um so yeah and then again it's not going to pay us for that stuff until we get to midnight which i'll demonstrate in a second here but the other thing to note is digestate what is digestate so you actually get a byproduct from what you put into here so here I have a slurry tanker. Now, if I hit R for filling, it's gonna say, okay, we have 2,144 liters of digestate here. So if I hit yes, it's gonna go ahead and put it in my digestate tank here. So digestate is that little icon you can see down below there. Um, a lot of times in maps, they'll have up here somewhere, they'll have a digestate icon, which will show you um, how much capacity you have. Uh, but this one, as you can see, does not have that. But what I'm using is just a slurry tank. So digestate, all it is is slurry. It's not the same thing, obviously, but it's the, it works the same way as far as farming simulator goes. So you can put it, here's digestate, here's slurry. You can put it in any slurry tank or slurry spreader, and you can spread it on your fields for an extra uh, fertilizer state. So essentially it works as a free fertilizer you get as a byproduct for what you put in here. Now you're not gonna get one for one digestate, but you do get some, which is kind of nice. So um, it's just an extra byproduct and you usually get a good deal selling stuff here anyways. So it ends up being worth it. So that's what the digestate out point is there. Now let's go ahead and um, let me make sure I'm looking down my list here, make sure I'm not missing anything. Looks like we've covered most of that stuff there. And again, if you guys have questions, feel free to drop them down below in the comments. I'll be happy to help you guys out. But we're gonna go ahead and fast forward some time here. So as you can see, it's already zoomed through all that. So you can process through quite a bit in a day. Um, but yeah, and as soon as it processes it, you get the digestate for it. The digestate is not something that rolls over at midnight. You get that as soon as you process it so as you can see here we have more in here now since it's processed all that look at the time it's eight o'clock now nine o'clock as we get closer i'll slow it down a little bit ten o'clock eleven o'clock and out we slowly go across the border here you're going to see we're going to get a payout up there on the upper right hand corner of the screen and there we go ten thousand five hundred forty five dollars that was our bga income uh for the day so that was that's how it works you get paid out at midnight you don't get paid right away you have to own the piece of property, all that good stuff. Um, and again, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them down below in the comments. I'll be happy to help you guys out. So um, yeah, that's just the kind of the general basics um, of how to use a BGA or a biogas plant in Farming Simulator 19. This has been Farmer Cup, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit the join button to join the Farmer Cup channel as a member or hit the subscribe button to join as a subscriber. But I do appreciate you guys coming and watching. Again, this has been Farmer Cup.